but it was it was a busy period in my life. What let's go to, just to stay on that first campaign for a second. Uh, how do you run? How do you make that argument to the voters at that point? Kick this person out. Uh, he's been there a long time. I'm 28 years old, uh, and here I come to. It, it's even more applicable today than it was then. You got to be for something. You got to tell people what you're going to do. Uh, just as much as you have to tell people why the person you're running against shouldn't be doing it. And I told them, I, I ran on public education, believing in it. I'm grateful to the state of North Carolina for my public education, for the public education of my three daughters, uh, my mom being a great public school teacher, our great universities. I was grateful for that. And I ran believing that education was a key to opportunities for everyone and went door to door, went to a couple of thousand households, knocking on doors, talking to people. And it was an experience that I will never forget. You, you, you don't forget your first one and your first you four. And, and people didn't think I could win. And uh, we won by a pretty good margin. How much? So, uh, I think it was about 75% of the vote in the So it was a pretty primary. convincing argument it that you made good, again. a good argument, and it, I, I, I have enjoyed my time in the legislature. I love my time as the state's chief law enforcement officer as attorney general. This job as governor, I can make a difference, but it is challenging right now. Well, so here we are again, 